Today on the net, the case of Luana Englare relaunches the debate on euthanasia in the Italian blogosphere. Humanitarian world mobilizes online to check the cholera epidemic which rages in Zimbabwe. And today's highlights. Even a death of Luana Inglaro, an Italian, in an irreversible coma for 17 years, divides the country, launching an online debate on the right to die with dignity. Several photo montages exist on sharing sites honouring Luana and her family's fight to stop the suffering of this young lady. Others oppose this totally, stating that the right to life is stronger than anything. This Italian blogger who is against euthanasia says Luana and her family has to continue the fight as long as a breath of life remains, adding that nobody can substitute God's will. A view not shared by this blogger who says that the young Italian has for 17 years been a prisoner in her own body. The only acceptable solution is to let her die with dignity. On Facebook, net users are also very divided. Many dispute the decision of the Court of Appeal granting her the right to die. Others ask that one respects the will of Eluana and her family. <laughs> Net mobilizes to counter the cholera epidemic that has already caused more than 3,000 deaths and infected at least 65,000 people in Zimbabwe. Online photos show disastrous sanitary conditions in the rare health centers of the region, centers which humanitarian organizations are trying to reorganize. This blogger states the importance to rehydrate patients with a solution of water, salt and sugar to allow the body to absorb liquid better. Proof of this is posted online with a documentary by UNICEF showing that this simple remedy can save many lives, particularly children who are especially vulnerable to this disease. This net user applauds the work of the volunteer doctors Médecins Sans Frontières, who also with songs help raise a patient's morale. Here is a very high definition photo of the investiture ceremony of Barack Obama. You can zoom in and clearly distinguish features of the new president, observe guests behind him, read musical score of the musicians. This panoramic picture with more than 1 billion pixels was created by photographer David Bergman from 220 photos taken during the speech. <laughs> This video should interest all who have wondered how the net is woven. The first connections in 1957, the need to create a decentralized system of information during the Cold War, the appearance of an international standard guaranteeing compatibility between networks. This simple animation redraws key stages on the evolution of the internet. 